A key highlight was seeing the topic of digital health grow from zero into what it is today. As a team, we shared our knowledge, best practices, and produced meaningful content. This accelerated the understanding of the possibilities digitalization could bring for healthcare systems around the region for better patient care. Yeah, significant changes, I think I have to say, is the digital health. Uh, it's really disruptive to the way that we deliver the healthcare. And then more and more we talk about, you know, uh, moving from the clinical setting to the home-based care. So we can see these emerging topics around new technologies, right? Digital technologies. How can we then really accelerate the innovation? But then from the regulatory perspective where I'm sitting at, also how can we ensure that the safety and the efficacy of these kind of products? The third verticals which we had worked uh, from EpicMed side is on the digital health regulation and SMD, where we had created awareness about the digital health regulations, including SAMD between industry and the regulator. And also we had received appreciation from regulator of conducting such an awareness session in India. It's worth noting that EpicMed uh, has recognized the benefit uh, of driving personalized medicine for the region. Hence why the committee has opened a working group uh, specifically um, focusing on uh, addressing the access hurdles for next generation sequencing, uh, which is a, a key enabler of precision medicine. I'm super excited to actually think about what this committee has done at the end of last year. As a whole committee, we came together and uh, uh, we assessed, well, in addition to the day-to-day -day work that we do as a committee, like looking at the code of conduct, or um, you know, launching some guidelines. What else is it out there that we should be focusing on? And uh, the committee came back with four recommendations, four areas, AI, ESG, patient groups, and additional ways of working with healthcare professionals. And uh, the working groups will now take those topics. They will, in the course of the year, do some more research, fact finding, in the course of the year, actually report out on the findings, and as well work with other companies of APEC Med, like the Digital Health Group and the Regulatory Group, to make sure that this is not just a legal ethics and compliance uh, subject, but it's a broad subject that concerns the whole industry. So this will be a fantastic um, a moment, I think, for the, for the Legal Ethics and Compliance Committee to provide the value to the industry. It takes a village to deliver healthcare. So working with other players like Advermed, MedTech Europe, United Nations, WHO, everybody in the healthcare environment is going to be critical to improving the health of patients in the Asia-Pacific region.